On the way here, we passed through a section of East Jerusalem where their guide was saying that it was it's basically like a lawless area. So we're now in Jericho, the oldest city in the world. The small buildings we're seeing there is an Israeli settlement here in Palestine. According to the Christians, this is where Jesus was first baptized. We're at the last stop of the day, which is the security wall, as it's called, that separates Palestine from Israel. The life there is so different. Yeah. Like, the neighborhoods do not look like this. Today we're in Jerusalem, and Ooh. we actually have something really special planned. We're so excited. Today we are headed to Palestine, which is somewhere that we have wanted to go for ages and ages and ages. But before we, we get moving, we just wanted to quickly come on here and obviously recognize that there is a lot of ongoing conflict happening between Israel and Palestine. Um, today our video is really going to be focused on sort of our tour of Palestine and the beauty that it holds and the history that it holds. I don't think we can, Nicole and I, can fully explain the sensitivities that's going on. We'll definitely be linking some of our favorite videos that does a way better job of doing that. We wanted to make sure that we come on here and sort of recognize that life for Palestinian people uh, can be really challenging. So if you want to get educated, there's some info below. Um, and come along with us for the day. We are joining a yeah. group tour. Uh, mm -hmm. That is sort of the easiest way to head over there right now. So we're gonna do our best to bring you along as we follow this large bus full of people um, into Palestine. Let's, Let's go. go. The bus is here. Time to go. So the first stop they dropped us off in Ramallah. Ramallah is the more or less the de facto capital of the Palestine Authority. Mm -hmm. um, here you'll find a lot of the NGOs and government bodies uh, settling here in Ramallah as kind of like their home base for, for basically Palestine. Yeah, I guess it's sort of the, like the economic hub of uh, Palestine. Yeah. On the way here, we passed through a section of East Jerusalem where their guide was saying that it was it's basically like a lawless Lawless, area. There's no Israeli police, there's no Palestinian police. You're outside of the wall, but still inside of the West Bank, and still inside of East Jerusalem means nobody's controlling here. So it's a place where you can kind of go to, I guess, kind of escape the law. It's, it's very, very interesting. If somebody had committed a felony, this is where he's gonna hide in this area, right? Because no Israeli police, no Palestinian police. Nobody takes care, it's lawless. First impressions, honestly, it's not that much different than what we saw in Jordan. Yeah, it feels a lot more Jordan. Yeah, a lot more Arabic writing, Muslim people. I feel I feel pretty at home, not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could look for some kunafa. Oh my god, I can't wait. Oh, I would love that. Yeah, I, think, I think we just passed like the central square area. Uh, I know that there are usually a lot of like protests and demonstrations held here, but today looks like a bustling kind of city street as you would expect at the central square. <laughs> so, so we're finding out more that this that Ramallah is really a modern city. Like, take a look at this. Our guy was showing us they don't have a Starbucks, but they do have a Stars and Bucks. I hope my family laughed as hard at that joke as I did. <laughs> Maybe later. So good. Oh my yes. god, that's good. Thank you. How is it? It's like melt. It's like a falafel ball. Oh my god. More like the falafel we've had in Jordan. The falafel we've had here is crunchier, much crunchier, and less salty. Oh. Wow, good. The Jordan Rift Valley is the divider point between the two continents. Oh We're and technically in Africa drifting, right now. They keep the drifting African away from each other. Right here. I mean, the funny thing is that Palestine so plays soccer and basketball in the Asian leagues, while Israel plays soccer in the European leagues, and we both lie in Africa. So that's how it <laughs> So we're now in Jericho, the oldest city in the world. We were learning more about the, I guess, the lives of Palestinians uh, in the West Bank and uh, just in Ramallah there. It's known that uh, Palestinians 
I actually get about 60 liters of water. It sounds like maybe once a week. And they take all that water and they store it in uh, jugs above their houses because they don't know when again they'll get that water. So they say it sounds like 60 liters a lot, but the UN says you actually need about 100 liters of water per day. You know, that uh, should be like kind of the minimum amount of water that a person should have to kind of live their life. The Israelis in the settlements in Palestine, interestingly enough, get 180 liters of water. So there's a big difference there. Where we're headed now is the, uh, I guess, like the, the, almost like the proof that this is the oldest city in the world. Um, it's a tower. It's 10,000 years old. Basically, it's kind of like the, called it the oldest kind of human project that we know of in, in history. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look like much on the screen. <laughs> it's neat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not gonna lie, it's a little underwhelming, but I guess, you know, 10,000 years ago, um, it was the Burj Khalifa of all towers, so <laughs> pretty, pretty cool. So the Christians believe that Jesus, when he, after he was baptized, when he was baptized just nearby here, um, he was spent 40 days and 40 nights in the desert, and it is believed that he was tempted by the devil three times. Just right up here, you can see there's some monasteries built into the hill. I don't think we're heading there today. It doesn't sound like we are, we just don't have enough time. Um, but it was, he was, he spent time in the caves there during his 40 days and 40 nights and tempted by the devil there. At the top of the mountain, uh, called Mountain Temptation, um, I guess the devil proposed to Jesus that like, um, if you bow to me, like the mm -hmm. whole, whole world will be yours. And I think at that point, that was the third like a strike mm -hmm. where he told the devil off and I guess kicked the snake. <laughs> <laughs> and so it happened here on that mountain. They have made improvements over the past 10,000 years because you no longer have to walk up to the mountain because look, there's a cable car system. How convenient. They controlled the borders so with the whole world. we're at the border with Jordan right here. And our guy is this is that we it's controlled by the Israeli government. This is the whole government. thing, the opening between uh, those mountains the, and these mountains the is the Jordan Valley. What we're visiting next is the Jordan River. This is so cool. So, according to the Christians, this is where... Jesus was first baptized, John the Baptist. So it's uh, pretty busy because uh, a lot of people want to come here to get baptized in the yeah. same spot that Jesus did. How neat is that? And there are a lot of people here in white getting baptized today. So interestingly, right now we're in Palestine, but literally across the river is Jordan. It is really, really close. We were just there. The guide was also saying that uh, one of the easiest ways to go to prison here is to try and cross that river into the Jordanian side. Back in the 1968 war, that's where most of the Palestinians fled um, to get into Jordan. So that's why about 70% of Jordanians are from Palestine. The small buildings we're seeing there is an Israeli settlement here in Palestine. And the Israelis have come here because out. this area is their building more and more settlements in the West Bank. And so uh, is many, daily thing. Uh, is many Jewish folk want to come and live right in this See, area. See, are not always bad. I have few friends that are settled. Something our guy keeps saying that I really like is he keeps reminding us that the conflict going on here isn't religious, it really is political. Jews and Muslims and Christians have lived side by side here forever, <laughs> for a very long time. Um, and so the, the conflict really is political. You hungry? So hungry. <laughs> Hi. There you go. <laughs> bye bye. So we had uh, lunch at our guy's house and it was amazing. We had uh, couscous with some kind of like a meat dish, a mix of lamb and beef. 
and then we had uh, some baklava and tea. Oh my goodness, everything was so delicious. I love uh, the fact that we didn't eat at just a regular restaurant, but actually at somebody's house. It was awesome. We're walking through Bethlehem now. There's uh, a lot more fast food shops than I expected. Like Popeyes and Domino's and stuff. Yeah, I don't know, I just expected maybe a lot more shawarma and falafel places, but didn't expect the Popeyes. Well, I never thought this day would end off uh, walking through a crowd in uh, downtown Bethlehem. I think we're at the Church of the Nativity. So I don't know if it's actually like where it is said that Jesus was born or if it is the ch oh, no. birthplace of Jesus Christ. That's pretty nice. Our vlogs are probably not up to date with where life is currently, but we're so like- it takes us a little while. We're like a month out from, uh, from Christmas. So mm -hmm. it's kind of cool being in Bethlehem on Christmas. And we saw like a Christmas tree there, which was I think pretty unique. Oh my god, it was humongous as well. A huge Christmas tree in Bethlehem. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's really neat. And also, I thought Jesus was born in a stable. I thought that's how the story went. But I like, think the church was built after. Look at this. <laughs> Guys, that ain't a stable. <laughs> So the, the inn that Jesus was born is actually like almost like a cave area and then um, the last room of this cave is a stable and then that's where they said that Jesus was born and there's a 14 point star there that shows the exact spot. Right here is where Jesus was born, and then just down here, we'll show you in a second, is where the manger was located that he was placed into. That's where the manger was that Jesus was placed in after he was born, according to the Christians. We're at the last stop of the day, which is the security wall, as it's called, that separates Palestine from Israel here in Bethlehem. I think it's really just to keep Palestinians in and uh, keep them from spreading out into, I guess, the rest of the country. Well, it's, the neighboring country. The neighboring, it's, it's pretty sad to see and just the words on this is, it's, uh, it's pretty heartbreaking, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, it's pretty somber. Yeah. There's artwork everywhere, graffiti. Um, it's really beautiful and also really sad. There's lots of signs up talking about what's going on here and kind of the feelings of the Palestinian people uh, regarding what they're living through. Canada! Canada! Canada. <laughs> Thank you so much! We'll take care, you guys! Take care! Take care. Uh, it's, it's just so interesting to be like walking on this side of the wall in Palestine. I mean, just yesterday and the day before we were in Jerusalem so, you know, maybe a little bit of Tel Aviv kind of area, and like the life there is so different. Yeah. Like the neighborhoods do not look like this. No. no and don't. there's not this massive wall that people live beside. <laughs> Here's one build bridges, not walls. Actually. Like side of those walls it's uh, bumping cafes and markets and restaurants and it's a very different way of life
the security officer will just come on to the bus. We'll check our documents. Hey, we are off the bus and we are back on the Israel side in West Jerusalem. Yeah. And it was a pretty jam-packed day. Oh my gosh, was it ever? We learned so much yeah. and for sure there was tons of old history there. Yeah. But we were also very interested in the current conflict that's going on now. We had an incredible day. I think the only disappointment is we couldn't get our hands on kanafe. Yeah. Which is like a dessert that we really, we've had in Jordan. You would have seen it in maybe our Jordan food vlog. Um, but it's from Palestine and we really wanted to have it there, but unfortunately we didn't have any luck. No. That's okay. We'll just have to grab it next time. Yeah, we'll get it next time. We'll have to come back. <laughs> but we hope uh, we did a good job kind of showing you guys around uh, what Palestine is like. It's a beautiful country. Mm -hmm. um, it's a country that has uh, a lot of things going on right now. And it's like we said in the beginning, it's really not something that we can talk to. Um, yeah. and fully do it justice so once again we'll link a lot of the videos that does a way better job uh, yeah. teaching you about what's going on in the country yeah so if you're interested check that out um, but we hope you enjoyed this day we have a really interesting morning coming up tomorrow we yeah. are just like we're trying to pack something in before a flight I don't know how it's gonna go but anyway come with us tomorrow and see what we get up to and uh, maybe you can see if we uh, we make our flight tomorrow which is still up in the air <laughs> We'll All see. right. Until next time. Thanks for watching. I really gotta pee. <laughs> Bus life. On that mountain. Very, Amazing. very cool. So cool. Everything's so cool. So cool. We love the cool things. Here in white, mm -hmm. getting baptized today. And they come up very wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm ready now. <laughs> that fix your hair. My hair's fine. It's all bundled up. I can't really be wrong. We just start. Don't make fun of me. Hold on, let me just start a new one because.